Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little bit of an update on Season 2 of Loki. Well, in case you didn't know, the second season of Loki is currently in production, and it really, really did not take long before we started getting pictures from this set in London, England. Now, as many of you know, last season ended on a massive cliffhanger, seeing Loki return to the TVA, only to find a giant statue of Kang and nobody having a clue on who he is. Now, we don't really know what's going to happen in the new movie, but these new set pictures do give us an indicator of maybe what time frame they're in, and even some very interesting Marvel Easter eggs. Now, we got multiple pictures from the set, and quite a few of them are set on a city street. This is in London, England. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now based on all of these set pictures, including some of the cars in this shot, it totally does appear they are in the 1970s. And clearly in London, England because, well, that's where they're shooting. Now if you look on the left, that appears to be a theater. And with that theater came some wicked cool posters. Now there's three of them here that leaked. And the first one ties it directly into the MCU. It's actually of Kingo from the Eternals, who in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been a multi-generational Bollywood star. Makes a lot of sense for a 1970s era movie to feature Kingo, and it isn't the first time we've seen this happen in the MCU, and it is sort of a new little trope they're doing that I like. Now, the other two photos were a little more interesting. The first one features Zaniac. Now, if you don't know who Zaniac is, He's not a very well-known character in the Marvel comics and actually appeared in Thor 319 way back in 1982. Now, he's an alien entity who could possess various hosts to unleash his unique brand of chaos and terror. Inside the Marvel Comics universe, many people appear he, he actually, in fact, possessed Jack the Ripper and that's where that classic crime case comes from. Now, the other one is even more bizarre and that is the Phone Ranger who made his first appearance in 1985's Marvel Age Annual No. 1. Now, interestingly, he was part of Team Cap during Civil War, but that was the last time anybody has pretty much seen him in the comics. As far as his origin goes, he actually discovered an alien phone and became a superhero who fought crime and could tap into communications technology worldwide. Obviously, neither one of these characters are something that Marvel probably has any plans to develop, so I think it's pretty funny to see them here on these posters, not two characters I ever expected to see, and quite honestly, I had never heard of Phone Ranger before. Now, as for Loki Season 2, we don't really have a lot of other details. We know this is going to play big in Marvel's multiverse timeline, and I suspect be a major precursor to Secret Wars, even though that hasn't been announced yet. Obviously, we're going to stick close on Loki. It was one of my favorite shows on Disney+, Plus, and we're going to be covering everything that drops, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about Loki visiting 1970s London, England? And which one of the movie posters was your personal favorite? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.